In this video, let us look at a new type of generative models for language generation called as large language diffusion models. Let's try to understand how is diffusion done in the text domain. We can look at a demo of large language diffusion models and let's try to understand how this model was created. Current large language models are actually models are generative models and here the specific task currently how it works is that it uh, predicts the next token. Okay, so this is an autoregressive model where given a previous sequence of tokens, it predicts the next token from your language or model distribution, right? From your language uh, distribution, the, it tries to uh, model the unknown language distribution by trying to predict the next token. So this is the autoregressive paradigm of current large language models. So what happens with this autoregressive uh, models? So what happens is that uh, the next uh, sequential token by token generation predicting the next token this incurs high computational cost and it does left to right modeling right so it limits effectiveness in certain tasks like reverse reasoning tasks okay so this is an inherent limitation of llm in handling longer and more complex tasks for example you have this reversal curse of large language model where what happens is that if an llm is trained on a statement like george washington was the first us president if you ask who was the first US president? It struggles to deduce this and give the answer. Okay, the reverse thinking is not there, right? So this is the reversal curse. So what is an approach by which you can improve on reversal reasoning as well? So this is where in this particular paper, they have introduced something called as large language diffusion with masking. So they have uh, trained an 8 GB model from scratch on 2.3 trillion tokens, okay? And supervised fine tuning on 4.5 million pairs. Uh, language model, a language diffusion model, and it, it uses uh, 0 0.13 million H800 GPU hours. Okay. So this is a paper from researchers in uh, Renmin University of China and the Ant group. So now let us look at, uh, you know, what is this diffusion process, right? So you might have heard of image diffusion, okay, stable diffusion for image generation. So what happens over there is that you have an original image in the pixel space, which is converted into the latent space. And there you add noise at every step of something called forward diffusion. Right? The forward diffusion process is that you have the original image and then you add noise to it. Okay, You add noise through a series of steps and then you have a reverse diffusion process of removing this noise whereby it is conditioned on text. Right, So you and uh, you have a series of steps by which you remove this noise and you get a generated image. Okay, At a high level, this is your diffusion process. Now, how is this diffusion process applied to text? Okay, So what uh, they have done over here is that in the pre-training stage, okay, you have your input text, which is a series of tokens, right? A sequence of tokens. In that sequence of tokens, they mask certain tokens, okay? They mask certain tokens uh, randomly at a ratio T, which is from zero to one, okay? At some probability ratio T, they mask a set of tokens over here. And in the pre-training, they feed it to a model called as mask predictor. And here it's a transformer model, where this particular transformer model tries to predict the masked tokens, okay? So this is like adding noise over here. Okay, to your input sequence of tokens. Okay, uh, in the diffusion process, this can be considered as adding noise. So this is in the pre-training stage. Okay, and then what happens in supervised fine tuning is you have your input prompt set of tokens, and then you have response also for that prompt. Okay, but in the response, you are going to again mask certain response tokens. Okay, uh, so response tokens may be masked partially, and then the predictor tries to predict these masked tokens over here in supervised fine tuning. Okay. So this is done on a large number of text. That is what they say in this thing, 2.3 uh, trillion tokens. But uh, you know, supervised fine tuning is done on only 4.5 million tokens over here. So now you have trained the model. Now, how does the inference happen over here? So in the inference process, what is done is that the input prompt uh, tokens are present and all the response tokens are masks, right? And then what happens is that at every uh, time step, okay, or number of sampling steps, what happens is that, uh, yeah, you know, number of sampling step, not a time step. So for each sampling step, it tries to predict the tokens simultaneously, the output tokens, okay? By giving it to the mask predictor, it'll try to predict the output tokens. Then what will happen is that you can actually remask some of the tokens again and repeat this process, okay? So after a series of steps, for example, like 100 steps, 50 steps or something, you have your final sequence generated. So this number of steps is a hyperparameter. The number of, uh, or the ratio of, you know, how many tokens need to be remasked in the intermediate responses is also a hyperparameter over here, okay? So in this way, they were actually able to create a, text diffusion model, okay? This large language diffusion model with masking was created. Now, why is this so interesting? So what they're saying is that when they compared this particular model with the LAMA 3 8 billion parameter model, okay? 
uh, an auto regressive model of the similar size the pre trained model uh, they say that the performance of this particular model is uh, much better than lama 3 on certain tasks and it is competitive when compared to a lama 3 8 billion base okay similarly our instruction fine tuned model also this model gives comparable or better performance on certain benchmarks when compared to lama 3 8 billion instruct okay that is the interesting thing the other thing which they said is that this model is also quite scalable okay when compared to a auto regressive model so that is what they are showing over here so when they try to create uh, various sizes of you know this model similar sized auto regressive model and then they looked at performance across benchmarks and what they are saying is that this model scales very well when compared to a similar sized auto regressive model so this is the new approach okay so here as a demo so when you have an input prompt like explain what artificial intelligence is if you see over here at every step it is actually generating some token over here some of the masked tokens and then it you know um, uh, uh, what they do is that they mask some other tokens and after some uh, number of steps you have your final response which has been generated okay you can look at this uh, interesting demo over here also uh, so for example uh, i actually i'll clear the conversation over here okay and i'll say over here is like you know how can you help me how can you help me okay i will uh, send it so here if you see over here and the generation initially everything is masked in the response and after some of some number of steps it gives like hello how can i assist you right now if i were to ask again like um, who are you right so then what happens is that it will actually initially have all masks and after number of steps you see i am okay it was i am a language model but you have something else also over here right so depending upon the number of uh, this thing so here you have generation settings where you can actually increase the number of denoising steps so if you were to increase it it's going to take more time right you can increase the output generation length number of tokens as well right and uh, you can try again over here so okay i'll ask a question like what is an svm right so now if you see it takes much more time over here for generation and here you can see how it is generating initially all is mask so you can see over here you know it's not doing in a left to right fashion it is trying to predict all the tokens simultaneously and then it tries to you know uh, remask some of the tokens and then uh, it keeps generating you know this many number of steps over here the denoising steps still you know this is the final text which has been generated and if you look at it it's quite decent in terms of what is an svm right over here the output which has been generated so you can go try these models um, you can try this demo this model is also available on here for you to download and run it locally provided you have the sufficient amount of memory and gpu and all the stuff the paper has been released so you can look at the paper to understand more over here about this approach so this is a definitely interesting approach okay what i forgot to mention over here till now is that this particular 8 billion model on the language reversal task is doing much better than gpt40 okay on this uh, reversal uh, uh, tasks basically so a poem reversal task it does much better than gpt40 so that is what they are saying over here and here are all the other benchmark uh, results right if you look at this particular uh, poem completion task uh, this particular model in the reversal task see it does much higher than gpt40 so this is just the beginning for large language diffusion models a uh, lot of people would now start researching on this idea and you would get better models in the future and maybe these models will become more scalable uh, they will have better performance when compared to our current large language models so this is a new paradigm uh, in the large language model space i hope this video is useful to you i'll be putting all the links in the description of the video do check out see you in another video